Hi, I'm Chris Young. Behind the camera, we have Dave Leneff, and we are here with our SSV Checkwire M6 Metal Detector Combination Unit. We're going to look at the day-to-day -day usage and kind of the operations on the unit, and we're going to run some test products. Now this one, before we get going here, you can see we have our good old disinfecting wipes, and it's a pretty tall product, so this head is actually aligned vertically. We have it both in vertical and horizontal, so if you do have a bag product or our horizontal cartons, whatever they may be, we have both options for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually run some of this through and we're gonna see how this all works. So we should have three types of rejects that we could control. We'll have an underweight, an overweight, and then of course a reject from the metal detector. So if we start this up, we're gonna run a good one through. Oh, and you'll notice as well that all of our counters are at zero. Okay, now I'll run it through real fast. Whoops. All right, and it's okay. So now I'm gonna push down on it a little bit. Okay. Now it's high, so that's a overweight or a positive reject for weight. Now I'm gonna try and lift it off, and get an underweight. And now the third one is I'm gonna attach the contaminant. Now you can kind of see here that we're attaching this contaminant so that the contaminant is sitting in the center or the midpoint of that aperture. That's the weakest spot. So now I'll try and run this. And now we have an MDNG. Now, if I wanted to look a little closer at the metal detector, I could simply go in here, adjusting MD sensitivity. And now we're gonna see the four different kind of channels that we're running. So now we can also just go in here and real fast look at a quick snapshot. So if we ran five products total, we had one that was good. One that was underweight, one overweight, and two that were no good due to metal. Some nice features on the machine, I'll just stop it so it's a little quieter, is here we can download all the history or see all the history. So if there's any type of reject for contaminants, it'll be in here, MDNGs. So if you create a control point, it'll capture all of those. You could also save all of the data, including the weights, to the USB. Save it all right there. And as well, if you're ever doing any type of maintenance on the system, it's really nice because things like the parameter history is very easy to see. So anytime I were to make an adjustment to the weight, change the setting, everything on the machine is captured. So extremely useful if you go from a shift where it's working perfectly, you come back the next day and something's happened, you can see everything that happened on the machine. That's one of the big advantages of having a combo unit. Everything is done from this interface, so there are no secondary controls. All the controls are actually identical to a standard checkware. The only difference is that we get this little bar here, which means that's the obviously the output for the metal detector. So if we were to walk next door here to what a traditional line may look like, if you had a standalone metal detector and a standalone checkware, you can see exact same screens, right? So one big advantage of the combination unit is that you only have to maintain and work with one system gather all the data from the system. Very, very convenient to not have to deal with two. Another very large advantage is from a maintenance standpoint. So really simply, you can see we have one table with obviously rollers on both sides and another table with rollers on both sides. We only have two tables. Glancing over at the other unit, you'll have two tables on the checkware and one table on the metal detector. So it's just more belts, more rollers, and more motors that you have to maintain. So here we're actually saving, the re we're reducing the need for an additional conveyor because we use the metal detector as the same in-feed conveyor feeding onto the checkware. So if I wanted to do the spare parts kits on this, of course on that one we might have some electronics that we recommend for the metal detector, some additional electronics for the checkware. For this one, for a recommended spares kit, I would have a lot less parts because again, I only have the common set of electronics and I have one less conveyor. So really from a maintenance and operation and just usage standpoint, there are a lot of advantages on that combination unit. So real quick, if we look at this guy and we were to measure it out, you would see this is about 780 millimeters long, which is just a little over 30 inches. So extremely compact and, and fully featured. So full M6 metal detector. So this runs two simultaneous frequencies and then our SSV checkware. So our checkware and our metal detector combined, similar to this one, against this one, all apples to apples. So if you broke this apart into a standard metal detector, this one's a vertical head, so it's up and down against our horizontal. But if I were to break this out into a standalone vertical metal detector and a standalone checkware, when I put this into the combo platform, I say between 10 and 15%. So that's a bonus right there. 
So overall, very good solution, very easy to use, um, and very simple to maintain. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about our check wires and metal detector combination units today. You can actually see this live on our demo van. So please do look on our website to set up a demo and visit at your facility. You'll see one of these units, the M6, the SSV, and as well our XR75 platform. Hopefully we'll work on a project together soon. Thank you so much.